Well, you're coming to Canada and you are confused whether to choose Montreal or Toronto. And if you are at this juncture, then you can watch this video where we are going to compare Toronto versus Montreal. Which is better, which is not. So stay tuned out with us on this channel. This is called Everything About Canada. Check, check, Johnny Hans. Check, check, this is Johnny Hans, and in this video, we are going to compare like what is the difference between Toronto and Montreal and if you are in the process of coming to Canada there's a lot of information on this channel which is going to help you to make your plans better if you're watching this channel for the first first time consider subscribing our YouTube channel and hit bell button so that you can get more information about Canada now if you talk about Toronto Toronto is Canada's largest city so when you look at the you know such statistics or if you look at the deep dive information about uh, Toronto then you would obviously realize that uh, Toronto is more like Chicago or LA of uh, US right so that's uh, it's very cosmopolitan it's very fast forward great growing great opportunities and on the other side Montreal Montreal is the second largest city of Canada so in terms of uh, infrastructure it can be compared to uh, Paris uh, from France or Amsterdam so it has more European look even the infrastructure especially if you go towards old port old montreal or you know a lot of uh, areas of montreal they're very much you know in resemblance with uh, paris or with amsterdam or with with any other european city if you like and the vibe is also very european in montreal so now the other uh, good thing is that in terms of infrastructure if i compare infrastructure yes montreal has both the very well developed part and uh, you know still developing part so if you see even the downtown montreal it is divided into old Montreal and you know new Montreal that has high rise building and old Montreal that has new buildings but they are developed in uh, ancient way they are they still look like the buildings of 1980s or early 90s or something like that so you will uh, see the difference between uh, the infrastructure of uh, Montreal as compared to Toronto now talking about the uh, population of uh, Toronto population in term this uh, you know information is from the statistics of 2016 that Toronto is somewhere 5.5 million people in Toronto that's what is the statistic about uh, Toronto and in 2016 these statistics were saying that uh, Montreal has a population of around uh, 3.5 so almost a difference of 2 million uh, in terms of population or people if you consider both the cities and now if we talk about the other factor that is definitely the expenses which a lot of you were waiting for to hear about the expenses and in terms of expenses uh, Toronto is more expensive than Montreal in, in Toronto if you want to live it's going to be around $1200 and if you want to live in Montreal excluding your uh, renting it's going to be around $1000 if you want to live in Montreal so if we uh, you know take out the rental part the living expense is not uh, you know there's not a huge difference in terms of uh, you know expenses however if you include the renting that means if you are looking at renting a uh, an apartment in uh, Toronto for uh, uh, one person or a single bedroom apartment it can go anywhere close to 1800 if you are living in Toronto but if you're uh, you know living in Montreal the same apartment might cost you around seven to eight hundred so that is the difference again in real estate values as well the if you are looking to buy a house in uh, in Toronto not even in Toronto in greater Toronto area GTA so I think it, it would range anywhere between 700 to 800,000 uh, you know if you're looking to uh, buy a house or it might go up to million as well but if you're looking to buy the same house in greater Montreal area it might go anywhere between four to five to six hundred thousand if you're looking to buy a new house in greater Montreal area so that's the idea that would give you like where exactly you fit into this equation and that's the living expenses just not that when we talk about living expenses we are also talking about transportation cost now if you're new to Canada I'm sure you would take government transport and which is like uh, Tron in Toronto they call it TTC Toronto Transport Corporation and uh, if you're taking their pass it's gonna cost you closely $150 
per month and if you're uh, staying in Montreal you would obviously use STM it's a French uh, you know uh, obviously expansion of STM is uh, State Transport de Montreal something 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 you can find it in the <laughs> description or you will find it on the screen it's STM and STM costs you around $86 per uh, month and it also includes your metro and your buses other difference I really uh, find in terms of transportation is for people who are driving cars. Now insurance is uh, more expensive in Toronto as compared to Montreal and that is the reason why you can afford a car easily in Montreal. And now if you talk about the job opportunities, definitely Toronto has a very strong footprint in terms of job. Obviously, uh, economy is really huge uh, in Toronto and above that, a lot of big companies that are operating in Toronto may not be in Montreal then the, the basic basic reason is definitely French because obviously a lot of companies have to have uh, you know French uh, educated uh, people to work with and also have a lot of uh, you know requirements from Quebec government that a lot of multinational companies don't want to get into so that's why definitely job opportunities are more in Toronto and even earning uh, per person is more in Toronto that means your minimum wage is higher in Toronto as compared to Montreal but, and now if you are a student it's an important aspect for you to consider for immigration especially if you are coming after high school or 10 plus 2 from India there are very less chances you would get permanent residency uh, by studying in Toronto because obviously the immigration rules are a bit harder as compared to you know, Montreal because whereas Montreal has a PEQ program where even if you are 10 plus 2 uh, from any country you know for example let's take India if you are 10 plus 2 and you are studying a vocational program here if you have a B2 level French that you can study in Montreal and government would pay you for that and uh, it's absolutely free and after completion of your program after one year of experience in any category a o b c any category you can still apply for your permanent residency if you are planning to live in canada throughout life or in, for long term so but if you're planning to study in any city of canada you can always contact our team and uh, our email address is apply at checkcheckservices.com and along with that we will be leaving a link of the form in the description in case if you want to you know study in any college or university of canada you can contact us and we will try to figure out the options to study over here if you're interested and you know what the buck does not stop here there are so many differences that we can talk about, about between montreal and toronto and if there are any points that you have an idea about if there is something that you really want us to discuss with all the viewers um, in this channel which is called everything about canada will definitely be more than open to share uh, you know if you have any ideas we are welcoming that please feel free to leave in the comment section what do you think is the actual difference between Montreal and Toronto and if we have missed out anything we'll be considering that in the second part of this series that is differences between different cities or comparison of different cities uh, if you are choosing to come to Canada and I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and uh, definitely we look forward to make a lot more videos for you so let us know what is your favorite topic that you want us to cover in this channel which is called everything about Canada and if you have not subscribed this channel you know what to do subscribe this channel hit bell button so that you keep getting notifications about our different videos that we uh, you know are creating on this youtube channel and this is your channel we are always open to feedback on that note if you understand Punjabi or Hindi, we also have our other channel which is called Check Check Johnny Hunt on which we are sharing a lot of other content and if you have not subscribed that channel still, you can also find Punjabi poetry and rap on Check Check Johnny Hunt. Do not miss it and subscribe that YouTube channel as well. And on that note, this is me Johnny Hunt signing off for the day. You have a good day. Check Check.